Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these three rectangles, the yellow one, uh, the green one, uh, and the blue one put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 17 centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, blue rectangle is 31 centimeter square. And moreover, this uh, horizontal distance uh, for these uh, yellow and green uh, rectangles is uh, 7 uh, centimeter, whereas uh, the distance uh, for these two rectangles, green one and the blue one is uh, 11 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. And here I have copied down this uh, yellow rectangle on the right hand side over here. And we know the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is 17. So therefore, uh, this uh, area is going to be 17 uh, centimeters square as well. And we know this uh, whole uh, blue rectangle area is 31 and this area is uh, 17. So the leftover this uh, area is going to be 14 centimeter square. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, distance is 7. So therefore uh, this distance uh, is going to be 7 centimeter as well. And now we also know that uh, this uh, distance uh, is uh, 11 centimeter. So therefore uh, this uh, tiny distance uh, is going to be 11 minus 7 is going to give us uh, 4 centimeter. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny rectangle on the right hand side. Let's assume the height of this uh, rectangle is uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times uh, width. And now let's focus once again on this uh, tiny rectangle. Its area is 14 and its dimensions are 4 and uh, h. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So area is 14 equals to 4 times uh, h. Let's divide both sides by 4. So therefore our height uh, h value turns out to be 7 uh, divided by 2 centimeter. So therefore the height uh, of this uh, rectangle turns out to be 7 uh, divided by 2 centimeter. And since the height uh, is same across the board, so the height for this uh, rectangle is going to be 7 divided by 2, 7 divided by 2, and uh, 7 uh, divided by 2 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. And let's assume it's uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, x uh, centimeter. And we know the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is 17 and the height uh, of this uh, yellow rectangle is 7 divided by 2. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again. In our case, uh, our dimensions are x uh, and 7 divided by 2 and the area is 17. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. The area is 17 equal to 7 uh, divided by 2 times uh, x. Now let's go ahead and isolate uh, x by multiplying by its uh, reciprocal which is 2 divided by 7 on the right hand side uh, and on the left hand uh, side uh, as well. So therefore we can see this uh, 2 and 2 is gone, 7 and 7 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 34 divided by 7. So therefore our this uh, width uh, x uh, turns out to be 34 divided by 7. And now we can see that this whole uh, distance uh, is uh, 7 and uh, this uh, distance is 34 divided by 7. So therefore uh, this uh, green uh, length uh, this one is going to be 7 minus uh, 34 divided by 7. And now let's focus on this uh, 7 minus uh, 34 divided by 7. I have copied it down uh, over here. And if I simplify this one, uh, this turns out to be 15 divided by 7. So therefore, uh, this uh, width uh, turns out to be 15 
divided by 7 centimeter and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again in our case uh, our dimensions are 15 divided by 7 and 7 uh, divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, 15 divided by 7 times uh, 7 divided by 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 15 divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 7.5 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 7.5 centimeter square by using the very first uh, method and now let me share with you the second uh, method and here's our very first step let's assume the height uh, of all these uh, rectangles uh, is uh, lowercase h this is going to be lowercase h, lowercase h, lowercase h, and uh, lowercase h uh, across the board. And now let's assume the this uh, width of this green rectangle is uh, x uh, centimeter. And we know this whole uh, distance is uh, 7. So therefore, uh, this uh, width is going to be 7 uh, minus uh, x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. And now let's recall once again the area of rectangle formula. And in our case for this uh, yellow rectangle the area is 17. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 17 equal to h times uh, 7 minus uh, x. And now we can uh, distribute h. So therefore we can write uh, 7 times h minus uh, x uh, times uh, h equal to 17. Let me call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, blue rectangle. We know that this uh, width uh, is x. So therefore this width is going to be x uh, as well. And we know this whole uh, distance uh, is uh, 11. So therefore uh, this uh, blue rectangle width is going to be 11 uh, minus uh, x. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again. In our case uh, the area of this uh, blue rectangle is 31 and its uh, dimensions are uh, 11 minus x uh, and uh, h. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area is uh, 31 equals to h times 11 minus x. Let's go ahead and distribute this one. So therefore we got 11 times h minus x times h equals to 31. Let me call this our equation number 2. And here we are ended up with these uh, two equations and now we are going to subtract uh, equation 1 from uh, equation 2. So let me go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to change the sign. This become negative and negative become positive and this positive become negative. And now let's go ahead and subtract 11h minus 7h is going to give us uh, 4 times h. This negative xh and positive xh is gone. So therefore this turns out to be equal to 14. Let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate h. So therefore h value if we reduce this fraction turns out to be 7 divided by 2. So therefore our height uh, h turns out to be 7 divided by 2 across the board. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute h equal to 7 divided by 2 value in this uh, equation uh, 1. And here's our equation 1 and I'm going to substitute uh, wherever c I see h. I'm going to replace it by 7 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced h by these uh, values. And now let me go ahead and move uh, this term to the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 17 on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now if we simplify we are ended up with the 15 divided by 2 equal to 7 divided by 2 times x. And now we can see this 2 and 2 is gone from the denominator. So therefore we are ended up with the 7x uh, equals to 15. Let's divide both sides by 7. So therefore our x value turns out to be 15 divided by 7. 
So therefore our x value turns out to be 15 divided by 7. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula once again. And in our case our dimensions are 15 divided by 7 and 7 uh, divided by 2. So therefore the area of this uh, green rectangle is going to be 15 divided by 7 times 7 divided by 2. And if we simplify the right hand side it turns out to be 7.5 centimeter square. So therefore the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 7.5 as well by using the second uh, method. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.